previous prospective trials that have looked into the immune system um, and, and how it responds to uh, these different uh, modalities. Panfire 2 was, was a good trial that looked very closely at IRE um, and its ability to modulate the immune system, which kind of has inspired Panfire 3, uh, which is looking at the, the um, addition of some sort of immunostimulant locally um, with systemic immunotherapy. So I think that's a big difference um, compared to this trial, where even though we did see a um, you know, potential abscopal immune response, um, theoretically based on prior work, uh, you know, the addition of immunotherapy might be super helpful in these patients. And I think this study just can kind of confirms what we've, what we've been thinking in, in, in that regard. Um, I think regarding local control, um, you know, these are fairly large tumors, um, you know, up to four, four centimeters. And, um, you know, for, you know, IRE with a precise probe placement, um, that's pretty difficult to do in order to make sure you get adequate margins in that, in that regard. Um, and so, you know, I look forward to future analyses, um, looking at potentially different subgroups of tumor sizes. And is there, you know, an optimal tumor size where you might choose one ablative modality versus another? If I could redesign this study, I, I would have uh, perhaps limit used a, a slightly smaller size limit. And very importantly, they permitted patients who had disease progression on systemic chemotherapy as long as they remained within the study criteria. And those patients that had disease progression on chemotherapy had way worse outcomes than those that did not. And, and we know that that patient selection is the most important factor. So my own lab and other labs have shown in preclinical models that IRE can definitely affect the tumor microenvironment. Uh, we see changes in immune infiltrates. Uh, we see changes in the in the in the stroma, um, and then a variety of labs, mine and others, have shown that when you combine IRE with different types of immunotherapy, that you can see synergistic effects. And so, we have combined IRE with both. Uh, stimulators of the innate immune system, such as toll-like receptor agonists. And we have we have combined IRE with checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, but in our hands, the, the agent that had the most significant effect was CD40, uh, a CD40 agonist, uh, because CD40 is kind of like a bridge between the innate and adaptive immune system. So we showed in mice that if you treat them with IRE, plus an, a single dose of an agonistic CD40 antibody just locally into the tumor at the time of IRE, that you not only had better effects on the local tumor, but that you've also inhibited distant metastatic disease. So at least in mice, we were able to demonstrate uh, that there's possibly an abscopal effect uh, for, this, for this combination treatment. So that is what our clinical trial is trying to um, to do in humans. So uh, the trial will be limited to patients with locally advanced disease who do not have obvious metastatic disease. Um, they do have to have had uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy with fulfirinox without disease progression. And we will be, first of all, looking at safety, uh, but we will also be looking, of course, at outcomes and specifically immune, um, immune endpoints.